Welcome to the Built to Last video series. I'm Sarah and I'll be your host as we travel around the country to meet with some of the world's most innovative manufacturers. We're touring shop floors and getting up close with massive machinery, and it's all in an effort to show how products you use every day truly are built to last. Today we've traveled to Cleveland, Ohio to Brennan Industries. Brennan makes specialized fittings and adapters and sells them worldwide. Whether you're altering a standard or starting from scratch, the Brennan team has what you need. So, um, just an overview of yeah. what Brennan does. So, Brennan is a company on, on the whole globally. We do fluid fittings, um, as well as in this facility, we are AS9100 certified to make aerospace parts. Hydraulic systems, fuel systems, braking systems. Uh, sometimes we don't even know what the customers are going to use them for. So. Right. This would be a standard, what we call an SAE fitting. Okay. Um, this Can is I a, grab one? Yeah, absolutely, okay. by all means. Yeah, these okay. are clean. So any type of application like this, um, there's a standard kind of style part number. Like this okay. is what we call a 2404 part number. So depending on what size you want, it's all gonna look the same. They might just be different sizes. So this is sort of a standard part that Correct. someone would use. So that's why you said it's a catalog piece. It Correct. doesn't have to be specifically tailored. Correct. Okay, so but if someone wanted to make a change to this particular mm -hmm. piece, Absolutely. For a project they were doing, could Absolutely. they do that? Absolutely, yes, we can. And actually, I'll show you a different part right over here that we do something like that for people. Okay. And so this is our standard, it's a zinc nickel plated fitting that a lot of our customers use. Uh, we have a customer though that wants to incorporate a test point gauge. So here at our facility, we'll modify the part for them, for their application, for their need, and we'll add the, the threading and the, the flat here so they can screw in a test point or a gauging system to it to test pressures on their particular application. So this is what the part came in looking like. This is the standard part, and then they were able to customize it per the customer's order. You can see the difference. What are we looking at here? So this is a, a fluid block that is used for distribution of fluids for various applications. Okay. Uh, this customer came to us with a very specific need because they only needed one part. Oh wow. They needed one of these big monsters made out of aluminum. And then we anodized the final piece black. Uh, but this piece was one of the pieces that we used to set up on, so I can show you a little bit about it. Uh, we did engraving on it, a lot of very intricate dimensional parts, um, a lot of cross holes that meet inside the part. Um, then this gets bolted down to an application and it distributes fluid throughout the various needs for the customer. No parts too small or too big, one piece application the customer needed. They just needed one part, that's all they needed, but it was a very custom one piece, no problem, we can facilitate with that. And they're up and running now and they're good to go. And what were they using it for? It's actually for a roller coaster. Wow. Um, can't tell you where it's at, okay. uh, but it's actually used on a roller coaster system in a park for fluid distribution. And they just needed one? They needed one part, it was for their maintenance system. Wow. Every so many years they've got to swap out parts that wear, uh, so we, we took care of them on that. So one of the key things, especially with any of the parts that we have, is our, our intricacy on the parts and our attention to detail, as well as any of the tight tolerances. So these types of, of machines are, are very intricate with what, they, with what they produce. But these machines are made to do, like I said, multitasking, which means that they can, per, they can perform multiple tasks at the same time, whether it's milling, drilling, threading. So any part in the olden days of machining that would take four or five different machines or applications to where it have to move from stage to stage to stage, we can now produce in one shot, spit out a completed part. How long does it take to make this one tiny piece? Uh, on average, it'll take about a minute and a half to make one part. And how many are you making? For this application, about 1,500, I think. <laughs> There's in-process inspection reports, so our, our guys who have been trained to do these parts, all, every couple hours or every couple pieces, will actually dimensionally check everything uh, per our, our ISO standards that we have to make sure all the way through, we're constantly checking to make sure it's the precision part that we, we want to make and we're setting out to make. Our deburring area. Okay. She will make sure that all the parts that we make get cleaned up with any of the sharp edges and also on the insides of them where they on a, on a 90 degree part like that where there's two drills that come together there, it leaves a little bit of a burr on the inside there so she cleans it up and makes sure that our customer is getting a good part a clean part with free of debris and sharp edges and even on the outside where it might have a sharp edge we want to make sure no one's going to cut themselves on the part or, or anything of that nature. 
So all of our parts, we want to make sure are free of contamination, debris. There's a, a wash which with a, a chemical soap that'll clean the part. Second stage of that is a rinse cycle. The rinse cycle also has a rust preventative in it. And then he'll just give it a quick blowout to make sure all the water comes out of them. Just like that, it's just like taking your car through one of the self washes. Yeah. You gotta have that drying session at the end of it. So that's sort of the whole manufacturing process from beginning to end. That's the, that's the basics of manufacturing 101 in a nutshell for any of the parts that we make. All right, well let's go talk a little bit more about what you guys do. Perfect. How does Brennan help offer solutions? And what, are, what is the most common kind of problem that you sure. guys hear? Um, is, it, is it coming from an engineer or? Sure. Usually our end use customers are coming to us trying to find a solution, but they, they have a problem trying to mate one part to another, one type of fitting to another type of fitting. So they can come to our website and take a look. Uh, if we don't have something on our catalog, they can look through our engineer special needs team, but they can use our configurator to download the models and do some virtual testing of their own and see if that application can help them. You know, in the olden days, you'd have to say, okay, I need to go from here to here on a part. Here's kind of my blueprint I need. We'd have to machine them a prototype piece, send it off for them for testing. And it, it would be weeks, you know, days, weeks, months before we got it to that end solution for them. Now with digitization, it, it makes things a little less frustrating. It's still frustrating to come up with, with a solution, uh, but they, now with digital modeling and CAD CAM software, they can download that, virtually test everything on site so we can turn weeks and days into hours to find a solution and come up with something for them and then go into production for the parts for them. And what's the reaction from your customers to that experience? It's great. They're, you know, helping them make it come up with a solution for their frustrations, for their problems, and doing it quickly on site where they don't have to come to our facility or mail parts and, and UPS things here or there, doing it streamlined in the computer world and then working with us to do that. It, it makes life a lot easier for them as well as it's easier for us to help them get a solution. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Brennan Industries, go to brenninc.com. And if you'd like to learn how your company can improve its digital experience, check out partsolutions.com. We'll see you next time on the Built to Last video series.